Hey beauties, welcome back to the global fashion workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Unexpectable style, precise lines and originality are the main features of the kimono jacket. This is what we will model with you today. In this video you will learn what is the difference between constructing a kimono style sleeve from a one piece? How to work with volume in the armhole and how to reduce it? What is the highest point of the shoulder for and how to find it? And besides that, I will talk about the auxiliary points, without which the perfect fit of the product is impossible. In general, do not be afraid to try new things and together with us start creating a unique jacket in the kimono style. Let's begin. We will sew on Ola. We have a back width of 39, back length 40, chest circumference 90. We do not write down the waist circumference, this is where a dragon might be at the end. Now let's build a pattern. As always, we put a point zero and down we draw a line 57 centimeters long. Point 57 centimeters. We measured the length of the product in the center of the back. From this seventh cervical vertebra, we learned how much we need the length of the product. From point zero down, we lay down the measurement of the length of the back. The length of the back is 40. Now we divide the 40 in half. This is 20. Put the point 20. Draw a sprout line through zero. Draw the waistline through point 40. This is the waistline. Draw a bottom line through point 157. The distance is from 40 to 57. It is different for you all, because the length of the product is different. Ola has a distance from the waistline to the bottom line of 23 cm. Therefore, the bottom line will also be the hip line. We draw a line that we called the working line of the chest. The width of the back is 39. Which means we set aside 19.5 cm from the center line of the back and draw a vertical line through it. Back center line, sprout line. chest line waistline this is the bottom line in this case it is also the hip line this is the back width line And now we lay off our points on the line of the hips. So what do we have? 
the circumference of the chest is 98. which means this is 24 centimeters 24.5 centimeters on the chest line why i lay one fourth of the chest girth on the hips from 104 will be 26 i set aside one fourth of the hip girth And since we did not measure the waistline, I will make a deepening here. There is a small deepening in the center of the back at the waistline. I take the sprout width 7 with a half. Here's a distance of 7 with a half centimeters. I set aside 3 centimeters. And straight from zero and round the line. Now we will draw the line of the shoulder that goes into the sleeve. The top point of our sprout is connected to the point of intersection of the back width line and the sprout line. We are moving in this direction. From the point of intersection we need to extend the sleeve by 50 cm. Take a rectangle and here we build a right angle. And along this line we postpone 20 cm. No, wait, better, we will take 22 cm. We don't need this point anymore. This leaf will start from the side seam. I want this leaf to start at the waistline, line 5. I build parallel to the 20 cm. These lines are parallel. From here I took 20 cm, here 22 cm, and now draw this line from this point. All attention to this point where the back width line intersected with the sprout and shoulder line. From this point down along the sleeve line lay 7 cm. Now look at this point. We draw a line.
Now I circle it in color. The distance is 8. Here is our sleeve. I put 2 cm away from here and a little this sleeve from the middle. It's 16. We circle the sleeve. And here is the back and sleeve. I draw two lines. One is the edge of the side and this is the front center line. I apply my back to the center line of the front. And I trace with a pencil. And in the very same way I outline the sleeve in black. This is the back sleeve. Let's start with the armhole. The sleeve should be smaller at this point in front. Sleeve to the back. Sleeve to the back. 
sleeve to the front. I will make this sleeve one centimeter smaller. In this place, I take the front by one centimeter. Now, raise the highest point of the shoulder by one and a half centimeters. This point has risen a little. Now we need to decide on this distance. Here is the distance of the neckline. Now we find the line of the intersection of the waistline with the edge of the side. And from here we draw a line to the top of the shoulder. The width of our plank is 4 cm. We put 4 cm here. We take a green marker. We connect this point with the edge of the board. Now repeat after me. I built our plank in green and this point to the center of the back. Now I will cut it all out.
All of you who have watched the video to the end, I'm really proud of you. Here's the front, placket and sleeve. That's it for today. Be different and beautiful. Subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and bell buttons. We would really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in our next one. Bye!